Hello everyone, welcome to the first section of Asynchronous JavaScript series. Before we begin with synchronous or asynchronous process in JavaScript, we must know about call stack, callback or task queues and event loop. So let's begin with call stack first. Well, JavaScript is a single threaded programming language. That means there is only one main stack where all the lines are getting pushed and popped out. For example, if we observe this piece of code, which has two functions, function one and function two, and we are calling function one only. If we just try to run this logically with few figures, then the stack behaves like this. When we start the program, there is an entry point. So I've just illustrated that using a main function. So once the program is started, let's say the main entry point of the program is pushed in the stack. The next thing is function one is getting called. When this function is called, that means one is pushed to the call stack. The next thing is console.log statement, which is part of function one. When that gets called, that means that is pushed to the stack. Now every line gets executed one by one. But here the console.log statement is such that it gets executed immediately and it pops out of the stack. The next statement is calling the function two. So now function two goes to the stack. Function two is added to the stack now. Then the next statement is the console.log of function two. So that gets pushed to the stack and that also gets executed. It means that this also comes out of the stack. Then the return statement gets executed. It means function two will now pop out of the stack. The same thing happens with function one. The return statement of function one is executed. That also pops out of the stack. The program ends and the stack gets cleared. This is a very normal way of line by line execution and a kind of illustration where we can imagine what must be happening with the call stack when we have single threaded execution. Okay, so to understand event loop, first we try to understand a very simple code here where we have console.log that is going to display line one. Immediately after that, we have a set timeout where I'm displaying line two and the third line is console.log line three. So in this case, the output is quite predictable that when we run, it's going to say line one, it's going to wait for two seconds for this process by the time line three is executed and then line two is executed. So the output is one, three and two, which is quite obvious. Let's try to understand what actually happens in the call stack when this kind of program runs. The first thing is that line one goes to the stack. Now this is a line which gets executed immediately anyway. So the output is line one. The next thing is set timeout. Now this is something which is going to take some time. So the API takes care of it. It holds the timeout and it will wait for two seconds by the time line three gets executed. Now when two seconds or whichever time is over, this process is pushed to the callback queue or task queue. Now there is something called event loop, which keeps a check on the task queue or the callback queue. The moment it sees a task which is queued there that gets pushed to the call stack. So event loop takes care of all the queues and it keeps on pushing the task in the call stack. The moment this process goes to call stack that also gets executed immediately. In case instead of two milliseconds in set timeout, even if you have zero milliseconds, let's go back to the code here. I change this milliseconds from two to zero. Then also the output is going to be the same. And the reason is, even though there is zero milliseconds, it is pushed to the callback queue and then it goes to the call stack. So now we know few basics of call stack, 
callback queues and event loop. In the next section, we are going to begin with implementing and understanding asynchronous processes in a practical way.